Hi guys, Anyinko Lebe is back again. I want to say very big thank you to those of you that have been sending messages to me about my hair. And I also want to say a big thank you to those of you that have just subscribed to the channel. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. So let's get on to business. So what we're going to be doing today is something like, let's check this out. Something like this. Actually, I'm going to do I did this this so actually I, I'm just gonna talk about how I did the um, logo the 3d logo or you can do your own 3d logo too so I'm gonna walk you through from illustration a bit because you're going to be using illustrator making the um, curve from the illustrator and bringing it to my let's get on to business without wasting much of our time um, I also make that from illustrator just go to illustrator I'm gonna be using this as example not to waste um, much time because that's um, this one as you can see it's much but you can see the layout over here how I make everything so um, let's see so just make a curve over everything so we go to curve. Where is the curve? This is the curve. Go to pen tool rather, or you can press P it's shortcut. So just make it round. I hope you know how to use pen tool. Pen tool. The same thing like um, Adobe Photoshop. So you make the curve over. Um, so I'm just gonna now, as you can see, we are having. Um, that thing that we're making is covering what we really need to make so we just go to appearance in case you don't see your appearance here you can go to windows and you can just um check the appearance this is it or you can press shift f6 on your pc or uh, yeah so just go to appearance and go to fill click on this color here come to this place and click here none so let's take it to none and the stroke also is tiny just come to stroke over here and come to this side you can increase the width to something like so and you can go to so you can come to this place and change the color so to something like that so you have the red so let me on let me delete this and come to this place again okay, and continue what I was doing. I'll just make that. Um, I might do a tutorial on this later on so that for the sake of just I don't want to waste time. That is how to make the curve in Illustrator and you hand it to that place. So what we but as you can notice, I'm doing it on the same layer. You can uh, add another layer here and do your curve on it, but still the same thing because just um, save it as Illustrator also. But watch it when you are saving save this save. So when you are saving this Illustrator, it is Nigeria. You can change the name and save save. So the version you need to save with it should be Illustrator 8. I think that works fine. It works very fine. So save with Illustrator um, 8 and press OK. So um, that should be done. But I, I'm not going to save this because, because I've saved the, this before. The vector. Let's use the vector. So I'm going to go to here. I hope I'm not too boring I just manage my voice I actually I cut my uvula and when I cut it I thought my voice would be like that of ladies but unfortunately it's still the same thing and still maintain my face go to create and you see Adobe Illustrator object you can go there go to the option you can reset press on this one and course select the type curves here don't use bevel use curve over here and create so select the tool that we need to use and bring it in to create itself so voila we have 
our curves here so what we need to do now is be selecting this individually and be brave and bevel but before we bevel let's zoom in and see this clearly in case what well, the best thing to do when you import it in or when you create the curve and you import it in is highlight everything every curve you have and go to display look for norms and you can see fine so watch what happens the moment i click on fine um actually you might not notice that but it's a refined um it's kind of refined make everything smoother than the way it's um was created or imported here just click individually click this go to go to surface and bevel plot so click on edit and refresh or res reset rather so we can um not to have a uh, big um, voids let's reduce the width probably the depth and extrude distance i don't want it to be too big so that is why i'm uh, reducing everything so let me just create oh i think uh, um i didn't select any curve so i can just press g now since i've selected one before so that is my curve so we can select this and G. So repeat the last command. Just press G. Continue pressing G and you'll be having it. So before I continue with the rest, let me, I need to explain something over here. Uh, I think I have hole here. So to have this, you know, if I add press G, like this so we won't have the hole so i need to make the hole so i need to press the outer curve and shift press the inner curve then i can press my um bevel plus so it's so just uh, the inner hole the inner curve will create will like cut in to create the hole the same thing to have press the outer curve and this one so i'm press your g that last command the same thing with six i think I hope you are getting what I'm saying. Press shift and so I'm going to forward this and not to bore you guys out and probably you can play a game for a while or anything. So forward. Forward. So, I think I'm done with that. Yeah, it's completed. So now I can delete this. Before I delete, let's go to edit. Um, click on the edit and delete all by type history. So I think I have it. So I can now delete this, and I'll be left with this. Let's from the you know as you can see this uh. Is, Two, these are two shapes I have the outline here and from the perspective I was looking at when I was designing the um, logo even the, the logo from Photoshop I think what I was thinking is this is extruded out and all these that are extruded out from this than this rather so I need to make them much bigger than the rest so now this is the scale at uh, the total scale let me decrease the scale um along z axis so let me click everything and go to z axis and make it two or three now i think i have it i think it's much yeah that is exactly what I'm looking for. Now, this should be much bigger than that. So I need to make this on Z also. I need to make it 5. So, yeah, now that is what I'm saying. So you can see it should be more 
Yeah, I don't know. That is what I'm saying. So I hope you get it. Now going to uh, this side also. We have like two stuff here. We have one here and we have other one here. So this one should be more bigger. So I need to give it the same scale as the first one five. So the same thing with this, um, these. And great, like so. So let's look at it from this side also. Light everything. I think it's. it's uh, I think it's cool like that. So I have it. Now the next thing is to texture. The next thing now is to um add color paint to it. So actually we're going to be texturing. Some will be texture and some other will be. So we'll be using the, the real um stuff for. Now we have looking at it clearly. We have deep blue and some kind of lighter blue here you have deep green over here and some kind of lighter green over here and then we have something like a ramp here so definitely we're going to be using a ramp for this place and i want it to sh look shine so this one also we have blue deep blue we have um, deep green let's make it good green and we have black over here so I tell my mama, she said she when I looked at her, and now my luck is very, very luck is very. My mama told me, say, I come to love you soon. So I tell my mama, I come to love you soon. You know what she said, mama love a child, she always love a child. to black just bring this in so we have our black and this one the outer one over here this one the outer one is gray so we can give it fong and gray just reduce it a bit so we have our gray and this one is let's give it fong yes so under this color we go to click on this option and we can select a ramp now so go to ramp so that will be like texture so come down so let's select this one select this selected i hope so give it think what's the color this is a blue the bright blue and something like white so <laughs> my friend says i don't know color that's what I said. I said I don't know color, and this white. So, but we can't see it here. That's because ramp it is a texture. So you won't see it until you click on the texture. So now we can see it. Is it aligned with what we want? No, the blue should be up, and the other one should be down here. So we can go to back to this place and bring this to this side. Bring this over and take this to the side so i think that should be okay now i think we're okay to go so we have it just like the way we have it here so uh, that is it that is how to make um ddd logo so i think i'm gonna be let me save it and write logo so um probably tomorrow i'm gonna make um, an animation on this uh, motion graphics so that is where we can use this this motion graphics over here and I'm gonna be explaining because here let me cite the example of what I'm saying here let's assume I want to make the whole thing animate like at this place I press S to keyframe the, um, the movement now I take it to this side um, to about 30 and I move it to this place so animate from that place to that place so if I want to render 
with Hanot renderer, um, the usual match rendering that we do won't work. Match rendering won't work. So rather you can use render sequence because if you're using render um, Hanot renderer and you want to render batch render, it won't work for Hanot. So instead you use this for Hanot. So you just go and click and then you might have you'll have selected the frame and you want instead of having frame here current frame to just be from from 1 to um, 30 that we want that will be from this place the render settings here so and so depends uh, tomorrow I'm gonna explain the detail so thank you so much really I'm impressed I'm so much impressed with you guys thank you so much for Watch my tutorials and thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I hope we'll meet in peace and not in pieces again. And you could always saying peace out. No, 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 peace out yet. I'm not going yet. I want to say once again thank you for the gift and thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. So, the part of peace out, peace out.